quickly i figure out uh, to do a project uh, in which i was trying to get the live streaming which live streaming of esp32 cam uh, on a web or an application but when i search on the internet i will i found that most of them uh, doesn't provide exactly the solution okay so i searched on number of uh, websites so in these websites they are actually using the esp32 cam web uh, camera web server example okay the biggest problem in this uh, example is that they are using the uh, web server uh, they are using the esp32 cam as a web server so the problem comes uh, when it comes to the, when you will use it as a web server you have to use uh, some ip address and in most of the examples they are using the private ip addresses that are provided by a local uh, a local access points okay so it means that you could access the videos uh, in a local area network but you can't access them through internet so you could not globally access the videos so after uh, after putting myself a lot in this uh, this problem i have figured out a problem in which uh, we will use the esp32 cam with the uh, firebase real time database to get the um, live streaming of the esp32 cam okay so please stick with this video thank you let's start with the demo so here you can see that we are using the esp32 cam uh, an android application that is running on my phone firebase so right now what we are doing is So we have created uh, a real-time Firebase, and every time a picture is uploaded, uh, this is basically the counter. Uh, the number of frames have been uploaded. This is like the photos, uh, like the uh, this is basically the base 64 image. Okay, so the image will be in the form of base 64 this way. Okay, we have also created an application uh, to show the uh, like the uh, data streaming okay so what i will do i will give a restart to the device to start it again okay okay so the so it has started uploading the images you see so as soon as connected with the internet it will start uploading the images okay and if i put it in front of my face see this is right now i am thoda samne lower slow iske sath camera ke sath so this is how i am uploading the images okay so right now i am carrying the uh, you see carrying the mobile so this is a kind of live streaming I am getting from the ESP32, okay? And similarly, if you see here, we are continuously getting the frames updated on the Firebase. See, 36, 37, 38, okay? Okay, now I will explain you like how we have used the program to connect the ESP32 cam with the Firebase. Okay, so we will start from the libraries. Uh, the first library is Arduino.h. Uh, from here, you can see that I'm using the VL Studio code uh, to, to, to code my ESP32 cam. Okay, so this one is the code remains similar. You could uh, either compile this code with Arduino. Okay. So the first one is Arduino.h. So whenever you are coding in Visual Studio Code, the first uh, library you have to include is hash include Arduino.h. Okay. The next library is Base64.h. So this is a very important library because through this library we are actually converting the image to Base64 image. Okay. Then we have a button uh, connected with an ESP32 cam. Uh, this is just to like a uh, if, if we are if we are making some kind of doorbell okay so if some person um, just pushes that button it will uh, start live streaming okay 
so it will wait uh, for the button to click uh, before starting the stream okay then we have a stream flag this will remain false uh, by default and when the button get clicked it will be um, it will be make true okay then we have the SSID and the password this is basically the your access point SSID and the password then we have the link for our Firebase okay so this is the Firebase host right now we are using this Firebase okay so you will get this Firebase host information from the Firebase okay then we have the authorization uh, this one so these two parameters you will get uh, from your Firebase database so I will show you like how you will get these two okay then we will <clears throat> then uh, we have Firebase dot h uh, uh, this is like the firebase esp32 dot this is the library that we will include you can get this one from the github okay and these are the two libraries that are basically used to disable the brown now detector so somehow if you uh, it's very common in esp32 cam that you get some error message sometimes like brown out detector so these two libraries are basically used to disable those okay then we have esp32 camera dot these are basically used to configure the camera okay these are the uh, like the camera model that we are using so in our case we are using uh, the camera model from ai thinker so these are basically the configuration pins so just leave them as if you are using the ESP32 camera model from AI Thinker. If somehow you are not using from uh, AI Thinker, just provide the camera model in that case. Okay. So we will directly jump to the setup. Okay. Uh, so the first line shows like it will be used to disable the brownout uh, error. Then we'll start the serial monitor. And then we will make the button as input pull up. Then we will set up the Wi Fi. So if we go to the setup Wi-Fi, what we are trying to actually do, we were trying to connect with the Wi-Fi and once it's connected with the Wi-Fi, we will get the IP address from the ES, uh, access point, okay? Uh, and if any point we didn't have, get the access point, it will launch the Wi-Fi manager so you could configure the uh, Wi-Fi and the SSID and the password of the game, okay? Then we next we have setup camera in which we will initialize the camera so just take this as it is the next uh, this is very important line if ps ram is found so this is some external memory attached to the esp32 cam this one is very important uh, because if you are looking for high resolution images uh, this is very important because the esp32 cam by default have very low uh, very small memory so we could directly capture the image in the ps ram okay uh, so right now i am using the frame size vga okay so that is about 640 cross 80 but you could change this uh, according to your desire the best you could get is uh, ht or maybe sometimes uxd but i will suggest you to uh, stick with maximum svga this one okay uh, but these are all the resolutions you can configure to your esp32 cam then we will provide the quality and uh, the lower the number the lower the quality this is our basically the uh, number of pixels uh, in the camera so the higher the number the lower the image size the lower the number the higher the image size um, but 10 8 to 12 is a great trade-off uh, so just stick it with this one okay then we have the uh, like the counts how many frames it should count just take, just make it one okay in the next line we will initialize the camera uh, if any point it doesn't initialize the camera it will say that camera initialization failed and restart the camera okay okay so once we are out of the setup at this point the wi-fi is connected the camera has been initialized we will go to the loop okay and we will you will we will wait for the button to be pressed uh, so right now it's like on button 12 so when you press the button 12 it will start streaming so if i go to the streaming what it will do it will 
first connect with the firebase host so this is the, the two parameters that we provided earlier then it will reconnect to the wi-fi set maximum retry it is like it will it what it actually trying to do is first of all it will uh, get an image from the esp32 cam this way okay and for to to page 64 so what it's doing is getting the frame from the esp32 cam and immediately it will convert the image this way if you see here it encrypts the image to base 64 okay and it attaches to the to the image file okay and it returns this file as a string so this information if we see here here so what it's trying to do is uploading the json in json format so data will be uploaded like photo and the counter this counter is basically showing like how many photos have been uploaded okay then we will set the path of this one just leave it this way and that's all so this is how the code is working just compile the code and upload to the esp32 cam and it will start uploading the frames to the e uh, firebase so what exactly we are doing we are actually taking an image converting into base 64 and then directly uploading to the firebase 